Uh, hello, I'm a comic book fan. I've been having problems with my computer lately, as you've probably seen me mention before. And I shot a video earlier today about like, what, three hours ago, and uh, edited it up, and it was still like 2% 20 minutes ago. So I'm, I'm going to do it this way on my phone, and do it the old fashioned way what happens. So I'm going to go from DC to Marvel to uh, Small Press. Right. First book I got today would be Batman number 80, the stock card variant, I think that's called. The one that costs a little extra. Oh, what is that? The $4.99 cover. I really happen to like this one. I like the cover, don't like the story. I mean, the last issue was incredible looking, and then they got to John Romita Jr. This issue, which kind of takes the art away from the art, so the story sucks and the art sucks. I'm not a big fan of Romita Jr.'s art. And again, with Tom King, nothing much happens in that in issue, and I cannot wait for Issue 86, 85 ends the Tom King run, Tinian is going to take over, and the only reason I'm still getting it is for the you know, sake of having the whole series. All right, on to my next DC, Dark Side Variant, Deceased number five, look at that, that is such an awesome cover. <clears throat> From what I was told by Comic Book Joe today, that there's something happens in this issue that makes Taylor say this is the hardest thing he's ever written. So I think, I don't know what happens, but it's got to be big. And so this is going to be one of the last ones that I read, just because I always say the best for last. And this has been an incredible series, so I'll find out what happens. One more DC, one that I didn't actually have to purchase. It is Turn a New Page in Fear with Hill House Comics. This is a free preview. Uh, it's going to be some, a new Black Label series by Joe Hill, Stephen King's son. Some of the key fame and all that, so we'll see how all that works out. Uh, I'm going to read this later. Okay, that's it for DC. On to Marvel. Got three Marvel titles. One more than I normally get. This Moon Knight isn't under a uh, isn't under a regular series, so I'm just getting these two, and then I've got one other one. We have The Punisher, number sixteen. We really enjoy this series started out strong, it's been staying pretty strong, and lately it's had one of my favorite mo uh, characters in it, aforementioned, Moon Knight. Uh, this has been a really fun series. Next, Marvel, that I have. It's not something that I normally get, because I don't like a lot of the big events in Marvel, especially when they have all these side things to do with the event, and this is a side event for Absolute Carnage. So they have Absolute Carnage going on, they have Absolute Carnage this, they have Absolute Carnage that, they have Absolute Carnage the other thing, and usually I don't pay any attention to this, so, but I have Absolute Carnage, the Immortal Hulk. I was debating whether I should pick this up, but I did for two reasons. One, it's the Immortal Hulk, and it is also written by Al Ewing. So it can't be that bad. After I read it, I will find out whether I have regretted buying that or not. And then my last Marvel for this week would be the aforementioned The Immortal Hulk number 24. I love what Al Ewing is doing with this series. 
it's really made the Hulk interesting again. And it is almost as good, and I know I mentioned this before, as the John Burton run on the Hulk. Some parts are even better. Um, if you haven't been getting this, get it, because it's awesome. Okay, that's all of my Marvel. On to my one dynamite. Vengeance of Vampirilla number one. That is such, such an awesome cover. Um, dude. And of course, it turns out, according to this, uh, it says, uh, born in 1969, 50 years later, she hasn't aged one bit. She is somewhat like me as being born in 1969, but I think I've aged a little bit more than she has. But these, uh, this, her series have been really good so far, so I figured I'd get it and see what happens. That's it for Dynamite. I have two more series books that came out this week, and another one from previously, I have Rags 5 of 6. Rags is kind of an interesting series in the sense that it is a another post-apocalyptic zombie story. But there's really not a whole lot of zombie action in it. It deals more with the interworkings of the survivors and how they get along or don't get along. There's a central character, a female Marine who's dealing with uh, events that happened before it, which is affecting her now, affecting her relationships with the people in here. And you know, I am ex Navy. So I've dealt with Marines before, I've dealt with you know, military life. And so I think someone, person or others, knows something to do about military life. Because it's, this is a really interesting series. So I've enjoyed it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, so then the final book that came out this week, I wasn't even sure this was going to come out this week. I mean, I knew it was going to come out this week. I just wasn't sure my, my comic shop, Bosco, was going to get it. Fortunately, they did, and they had three covers, of which I could bought two. They didn't like one of the covers. And this is at least in concept you know, from the title and the cover, very interesting. Vampire State Building. And if you look at it from the artist of The Walking Dead. Now, this may or may not be a huge selling point. I mean, some people, you know, like I said, if there was a, a book that says from the artist Jim Lee, a lot of people might get it. You know, or, you know, John Byrne or, you know, whoever, even Armada Jr., even though I'm not a big fan. That might work, but you know, I'm not sure how big of a sales thing from the artist of The Walking Dead is. But hey, I love vampire books, and uh, it's hard to find some new, some good ones. The only good one that I've been reading lately is uh, Red State by Tim Seeley. So there's this cover, which I think is awesome, and then. This cover. New book number one. Okay, that is it for the new books this week. But I did finally get a book in that I ordered a few weeks ago when it first came out. And it finally showed up. It is from Boom Studios. And it is by James Kinney and the Fourth, which makes it really good. Should I didn't realize it at the time, but Something is killing the children. I just got done reading this. 
it's an interesting book. Uh, not very much uh, let out in the first issue, but uh, it's good. It's very well done. So, is there anything else that you think I should read? Let me know ahead of time, or let me know in the comments, and let me give you the book that I have for the cover of the week, and the thing that I'm most excited to read. Cover of the week, obviously, look at that, deceased number five, that is an incredibly awesome cover, and just because what I'm going to save for last, because save the best for last. You know, it's a blind buy. Vampire State Building. That is the one I'm going to save for last. All right. Let me know what you think. Tell me if I should get something else. And uh, like and subscribe. All right.